What's up guys? Today we're going to cover all things about uh, cabinet ends inside of the uh, 3D designer. So first and foremost, for your end settings are going to be on a cabinet level. So every product can be handled differently depending on how you want to do it. So if you navigate to um, any one particular product, then you can see the, the variables that are available for uh, cabinet ends. So, for example, you have both integrated end panels or applied end panels. So your integrated ends are where you're going to have a, uh, the, the end is going to be finished. So if you go into texture mode, you're going to see that that specific end is finished. It's built in. So however, the inside of your, your cabinet is, is not, right? So, whereas your uh, applied ends are going to be a separate piece that is applied to the outside. Uh, those can be different kinds of applied ends, both a five piece or a slab. We'll cover those here in just a minute as to where you add those kinds of applied ends. So your integrated ends, um, essentially what these settings are doing is determining in 3D what is available and not available inside of your designer. So say you don't want to offer any end panel options, you're not going to do end panels at all, and you're going to add applied ends as a separate product, uh, you can do that too. So, or you want to offer all different kinds of ends. So every company is going to be just a little bit different in how you want to make those available. And this is the spot where you do it on the product level. So let's cover these just real quickly. Left panel, so and you can make it to where left panel, right panel uh, are, are both independent and have different variables. So on your left panel, what this is saying is you're going to either allow this option um, or you're going to by default turn it on and allow it or it's only going to be on and not allowed to turn off. So where it's on allow, it says it's on and allow it to turn it off or it's on by default and you can't allow it to turn it off um, or it's off but you want to allow it to be turned on or it's off altogether so essentially allow and off allow are, are essentially the same thing um, so this is just the default this is what this way it's going to to be this determines whether how someone can do it um, notch is both you're going to allow it to be notched or no notch or it is uh, always notched so those those are those variables there and the the right is the same way um, now on your applied ends uh, you're just gonna say whether you're gonna allow a left applied allow a right applied or allow a back panel and um, those are those are the variables that are that are available for applied ends. So the applied ends and their models are housed in a different space. Let's go ahead and show that. So those are here under your catalog settings. Uh, if you've navigated to catalogs, gone to your catalog, click on end panels. This is where you can add your models for the different kinds of end panels. So um, if these are empty and there's nothing here and you've, you you know you delete these out then there just won't be applied end options available so that's how those ends are determined inside of your 3d designer it really is just a matter of you determining what you want to have available here on your product set and then making those settings take place uh, on the product level